So tonight uh, I had to get out. Um, I didn't bring my telescope or anything. Uh, what I did bring was um, some camera gear and what I'm going to attempt to do tonight is I'm going to attempt to get some uh, landscape uh, stuff out here tonight because uh, it's nice and dark. I'm hoping to get the Milky Way when it comes up. It'll come up over here. This is facing this way is um, east, so southeast. Um, I've got some ravines down here that have some uh, foliage and some cactuses and stuff in there. So I'm going to try and see if I can uh, frame something up that looks kind of nice. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, haven't done any kind of landscape uh, uh, night photography at all. So this is going to be a little interesting. On top of that, uh, Isaac is not going to be here tonight. So I am... Um, just doing it solo so uh, it's going to be an interesting night uh, definitely to say the least so uh, with that I guess I'll start uh, unpacking what I have which is not much uh, and maybe just start finding a place for um, for me to maybe frame something up that might look uh, interesting so Hang out with me in this video tonight, guys, and let's see, you know, if I can make anything out of it. Okay, um, well, I think I may have found a spot uh, to do my landscape uh, Milky Way image tonight. Uh, I'll show you right here behind me. So you see, we've got a couple cactus right there, saguaros, and then I'm kind of in a ravine and there's some brush and stuff like that. So the image, so the camera's right here pointed that way which is like southeast so I'm hoping that the Milky Way is going to come up right around here and just kind of come out that way um, so I'll kind of show you on screen here video wise so this is about what it looks like the way I have a cactus and the tree and everything oriented is just about like that so that's what I'm seeing on my camera lens um, right here. I have my, it's just a little Tonica uh, 11 by 16 millimeter f2.8 uh, lens, f mount lens uh, for my Nikon camera. So I'm just gonna wait for the sun to kind of set a little bit and then I think I'll take uh, some images before it gets. Uh, too dark so I'll have like the foreground and then um, I will wait until about 1.30 or so and take the images of the, the Milky Way. So what I'm going to do right now I think I'm going to pack all my stuff up in my car and move move it over here closer to where I'm at because this is where I'm going to be over here and I don't need to be trekking through the uh, the night in the middle of the night in darkness uh, over the scorpions and whatever else is out here I don't even want to know um, but yeah 
So, so right down there is my camera right in that little ravine. And right over here right now is my forerunner right over there somewhere. So we're going to go get that, pack everything up and move it down over here. So I'm not having to trek so far. I think there's going to be a Starlink rocket launch tonight at about 725 and it'll be coming over there from the west. So I'm going to set up a GoPro and see if I can time lapse that as well. Um, I'm just out here screwing around. I mean, I had to get out. I needed a little break from everything. Hadn't been out in, oh gosh, I don't know, since February. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. That's what we've got going on. All right, guys, check it out. There's a camel spider around here somewhere. Right there. Check out that camel spider, man. That's the kind of stuff that is out here with us when we're out at Alpha Scorpii. Okay, guys, so... Let me see if I can show you. I've been over here messing around with the, the, the landscape stuff here real quick. So I did a little bit of light painting. And this is what I got for my foreground. So I'm going to go with that. And hopefully that'll come out.
um, well, I guess uh, I survived Alpha Scorpii by myself. Um, no attacks by hippies, chupacabras, sasquatches, or skinwalkers. Um, so let me just tell you how the night went, I guess. I'll just kind of give you a little bit of summary. And then I'll just show you what uh, I was able to pull out um, for my quote-unquote landscape Milky Way um, photography session. So um, I think I had mentioned earlier in the video that um, I had did some some light painting where you take a flashlight and you shine it on the um, the objects that you want to kind of light up and I and I got a pretty good um, foreground but when I tried to stack it in sequitur or sequator or whatever you call it it wouldn't stack um, so I like I said I have no idea what I'm doing with any of this so I still have some more YouTube videos to kind of look at and and kind of see if I can figure out how to do things a little better um, so what I did was mainly um, I put everything together in sequitur and um, and then I brought it into Lightroom and I created a mask for the foreground and for the background and then I edited each one independently and that's what I ended up uh, ended up with so the night <clears throat> it was a beautiful night it was it was such a such a good clear night it wasn't too cold um, the skies were super super clear super transparent um, I wish I would have brought a telescope out um, just to get some some data on some object out there um, with those sky conditions um, we did see the Falcon 9 um, launch out there which was pretty awe-inspiring to see the whole thing from from beginning to to when I couldn't see it anymore um, yeah it was just uh, it was a it was a very nice night um, I really needed to get out like I had said earlier and just kind of sit out there and just kind of clear my mind and 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 all that stuff so uh, I did manage three different um, uh, landscape Milky Way shots uh, one thing I want to mention is that I I think I I didn't stay out long enough because the Milky Way was just barely coming up I think I I stayed out till about two o'clock in the morning and the Milky Way was still pretty pretty low but um, you know I, I, I for my first attempt I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quabble um, the shots they're not A pods, <laughs> they're not B pods or C pods, they're probably F pods, I guess. But, um, you know, I'm just starting out on this this piece, but I do see um, some potential here. Um, I was using my older Nikon D90, which um, the ISO on it is pretty limited. Um, the Nikon Z30 that I'm uh, uh, video on right now, um, that thing, the ISO can go up to like some crazy amount and it's supposed to be pretty noise free. So uh, I did purchase a Roki 14mm f2.8 um, lens to use on it. So I'm going to give that a try uh, next time that um, I am out. But I just want to say thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for uh, joining me on this um, Milky Way landscape uh, photography video and um, I will show the images here at the end of this video um, you know not everything in astrophotography is is wonderful and great so you have to start somewhere and this is where I am right now in my landscape uh, uh, journey for astrophotography so thank you guys for watching and clear skies.